Hi and welcome to introduction of Apache Spark. My name is Nishant Garg and I will be your trainer for this video Spark Execution Engine. In the last section of videos we have looked at the quick introduction of Scala, Scala features and get started with Scala. We also discussed the programming fundamentals of Scala such as how to create and instantiate classes in Scala, describe the difference between mutable and immutable fields, defining methods and difference between class instance and an object in Scala. We learned to create singleton objects and companion objects in Scala and outline usage for objects in Scala applications. In this section of videos, we would be talking about the Spark execution flow. Next, we will talk about Spark context and resilient distributed datasets called RDD. And in the end, we will talk about RDD operations. Now move on to the first video of this section. In this video, we are going to take a look at Spark component architecture first and then we would understand the Spark execution flow. A Spark application contains several components, all of which exist whether you are running Spark on a single machine or across a cluster of hundreds or thousands of nodes. Each component has a specific role in executing Spark program. Some of these roles are passive during execution such as client components and other roles are active in the execution of program excluding components executing computation functions. The components of the Spark application are driver, the master, the cluster manager and the executors which run on worker nodes or workers. This slide shows all the components in context of Spark standalone application. All of these Spark components including the driver, master and the executor processes run in Java virtual machine. It is important to distinguish between Spark runtime application components and the location and the node types on which they run. These components run in different places using different deployment modes. In case you are running Spark on YARN, there would be a several variation in this slide. However, all the components pictured are still involved in the application and have same roles. The life of the Spark application starts and finishes with the Spark driver. The Spark driver is the process that uses Spark as library and takes the data processing code provided by the client and execute on the worker nodes. The driver is also responsible for planning and coordinating the execution of a Spark program and returning status and the results to the client. The driver program can launch one or more jobs on a Spark cluster. The driver takes all the requested data manipulation operations and actions from the client and create directed acyclic graph called DAG. A DAG is a mathematical construct that is commonly used in computer science to represent data flows and their dependencies. The DAG consists of tasks and stages. Tasks are the smallest unit of schedulable work in Spark program. Stages are set of tasks that can be run together. Stages are dependent upon one another. Next, a worker node provides CPU, memory and the storage resources to a Spark application. The workers run a Spark application as distributed processes on the cluster of nodes. Typically, a worker node which hosts the executor process has finite or fixed amount of executors that can be allocated at any point of time. Therefore, a cluster being a known number of nodes has finite amount of executors that can be allocated to run Spark tasks. Spark executors are the host processes on which tasks from Spark DAG are run. Executors reserve CPU and memory resources on slave nodes or workers in the Spark cluster. It can also cache data in memory or on disk. Executors are dedicated to specific Spark application and terminated when the application is complete. A Spark executor can run hundreds and thousands of tasks within a Spark program. Like I said earlier, task is the smallest unit of work that Spark sends to an executor. It is executed by a thread in an executor on a worker node. Each task performs some computation to either return a result to the driver program or partition its output for shuffle. Spark creates a task per data partition or blocks and executor run one or more tasks concurrently. The amount of parallelism is determined by the number of partitions. More partition means more task processing data in parallel. 
the master and the cluster manager are central processes that monitor reserve and allocate distributed cluster resources container in case of yarn on which executor runs cluster manager is a process responsible for monitoring the worker nodes and reserving resources on these nodes upon request by the master the master then in turn makes these cluster resources available to the driver in the form of executor in either deployment mode the master negotiate resources or containers with worker nodes or slave nodes and track their status and monitor their progress now let me describe how a spark application processes data in parallel across the cluster of nodes let's assume client application submits the data processing algorithm as a spark job client application connects to the driver using spark api and driver splits the job into directed acyclic graph dag of stages driver also connects to the cluster manager and acquire executors on the worker nodes it then schedules the execution of these stages on the executors using a low level scheduler these executors run the task submitted by the spark in parallel each task read the portion of data called block process it and cache it once the whole data is processed results are reported back to the driver every spark application gets its own set of executors on the worker nodes now the advantage of this approach is that each task from different application are isolated from each other since they run in a different jvm process additionally scheduling of task become easier since application runs in isolated jvm processes they cannot share data without writing it onto the disk even though they may be running on the same worker node also application sharing data through disk will experience performance issues in this video we have looked at the spark component architecture driver cluster manager master worker nodes and executor and then we have discussed the spark execution flow in the next video we would be discussing spark context and resilient distributed data sets called rdds thank you